How I met um, Sarita, I guess, is um, one, of, one of life's mysterious coincidences. Um, delivering parcels in King's Langley, um, one afternoon on a busy day, um, I came across a parcel which, of course, needed to go to her house. So, um, arriving at the house, pretty stressed out and a bit fed up and really tired, and she had a very big parcel, which I had to carry up to the fourth floor. So um, I wasn't in the best of moods, to be quite honest. And then I get to the door, ring the doorbell, and um, I just whacked the parcel on the floor. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so Sarita opens the door, and um, she has a look at me, and she says, well, do you want to come in for a cup of tea? And I just uh, walked into like a, a grey guru's house uh, on knowing day. So it was pretty cool. I was pretty amazed after that, to be honest, because um, there were other like really spiritual people there. So actually walking into the room, I had this feeling that, wow, these people must be spiritual. So, oh, what did I walk into? So, um, basically that's how I met, met them, you know, they offered me a cup of tea, um, I sat down, calmed down, um, and basically left the room, left the house in a completely different mood, um, just pretty much chilled out, and I um, was just wondering afterwards, that how the heck do I come across, you know, something like this? And um, there were, there were um, other, uh, other events after this. So I was invited to uh, uh, have dinner with them that Saturday, um, which was also really nice to uh, be in the circle of such people. And um, that's when I kind of decided that I was going to do a course with the School of Awakening, which I did um, in November, which was a wonderful experience and um, it was it was just really something else and um, I went home wondering well you know what when am I gonna get involved again and uh, pretty much nothing was happening for about a couple of months uh, until this Thursday um, or actually Tuesday night when I kind of had a dream with Sarita, so I thought, ooh, the following day, working again in Kings, Kings Langley, maybe I should come and just ring the doorbell and um, see what happens. But uh, I got so nervous and, I don't know, it was, it was such a feeling like the world was going to come to an end if I, if I go there. <laughs> uh, I was pretty nervous and, and excited also. I had a feeling maybe I shouldn't, so I actually didn't ring the doorbell on Wednesday. But on Thursday, when I delivered to um, in um, in in the, in the street where she lives, um, I decided that I should do it. And and, I, and again, I just rang the doorbell, and they opened the door for me, and I just walked in and they said, "Hi, Sarita." Well, I just guess I had a feeling that I should come in here and uh, said oh wonderful we need <laughs> we need some more men for this weekend of course so <laughs> that's how I ended up here again so um, which was a wonderful experience again so uh, I hope um, that many more uh, of these coincidences will come up in my life which will lead to uh, wonderful experiences like this <laughs>